this is Brittany Jones from She Abundantly at SheAbundantly.com and I am out enjoying the scenery in this hot weather. I don't know how to pan this thing. There we go. Looking at all the duckies. Okay, bump that heat. Um, somewhere in the shade. Couldn't take that. But I um, wanted to share a message uh, on purpose when it comes to relationships. When we get into a relationship, if we don't have a purpose for, for that relationship, if we're not focusing on going into a committed marriage, something sincere, then we really end in pain. But there is no purpose, there is pain. I wanted to share this quick story. Um, I had a, an old friend come back into my life um, for a short amount of time. I began to enjoy his company. He began to enjoy mine as well. And um, I knew he liked me way back then. And I could tell that he liked me um, then. And, you know, a, a boring conversation, just having friendly conversation, he was saying, you know, um, he really wanted to be in my life. And he, he was saying, if it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's just go with the flow. And I had to ask him this real question. Do I look like the type of girl that just goes with the flow? If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. That was a sincere question. And when I think about it, that's what we do when we get into relationships. We get into these relationships and with with really no purpose. Um, and whatever happens, happens. But reality is, you will never get to a destination that you are trying to go just by haphazardly doing things. Anything that you are striving to achieve, whether it be losing weight or getting a degree or finishing some project, you never, ever finish it by just going with the flow. You can't just say, okay, one day I'm going to eat healthy and then the next day I'm not going to eat healthy and expect to lose 50 pounds or the desired amount of weight that you want to lose. It just doesn't happen that way. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to get a degree and, you know, one day I'll go to class and if I pass, I pass. If I fail, I fail. You won't be getting a degree like that either. So why do we get into, into these relationships and playing with our own hearts, our own time and emotions and saying, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it does. I'm just going to go with the flow. You know what will happen when we just go with the flow, when there is no purpose? It usually ends in pain it usually ends in a place that you just don't want to be because real talk we naturally have expectations we have these you know these places these these desires that we want to achieve and there's some point along the line where you're going to be disappointed and because you're not in a place or a status that you want to be in but you know you're just going with the flow right you know when you are on a wave somewhere you go wherever the wave takes you so you don't have any power over that. So if it takes you into a desert land, then that's where you'll be. You know, it's it's like playing a, a life of chance. And God is way too strategic to be playing some chance game. He's too strategic. He placed us on this earth to be strategic just like he is. When he sent his son to die on the cross, he was strategic. He had a purpose. And he succeeded with a mighty blow. You feel me? So... I wanted to share this analogy say for instance and I know we've probably many of us have done this before when you go into a grocery store without a list you randomly walk different aisles and you start to pick up things that you like things that you had no intentions of buying but because you liked it at that moment because it looked good smelled good because the the wrapping on it was really pretty or something you pick it up and when you get to the cashier or the checkout line you realize that hey I picked up way more than I should have you know you may have spent way more money than you intended or you may have so much that you can't even afford to buy what you have and that's what happens when we go into a relationship that way not being purposeful we will end up in a place we never thought that we would be when we're in these relationships and we don't have a plan we usually end up in the desert somewhere. We usually end up being someone's baggage or accumulating more baggage or we, we end up being a baby mama or baby daddy with another broken relationship, another broken home. And, and if you are striving for that kingdom reward, if you are striving to live at the highest life that God called you to be, if you're striving to be, become, she abundantly, 
Your life has to take a drastic turn for the better. We must live with purpose. We must live on purpose. We must live in purpose. And I'm on this path of dating with purpose. Because where there is no purpose, there is pain. Every relationship that I've been in, <clears throat> which really was just one main relationship, but we had no purpose. We ended up in everything else except for what was right. And it ended. Because there was no purpose to get married. There was no purpose. And we ended up in the bed. We ended up in pain. There's no purpose. And then when you do know your purpose, you don't just go with the flow. You stand for what you know is right. You go for what you know you're worth. And that's just that. So I really just wanted to encourage us young women to really stand with standards. Realize that God called us to a greater call than what we're probably currently in. And we must realize our worth. We must realize that we were made for so much greater. And if we want to achieve that, if we want to um, live at the highest potential that we were called to, some point along our lives, we're going to have to put our two feet down and, and stand strong and, and be purposeful and strategize. So, I don't know about you, but I ain't no go with the flow kind of chick and I, I really encourage you not to be either. It's too much inside of you to just go with the flow. Take a stand. Be purposeful. So, ooh. I'm gonna have bugs and ants on me. 